In a world where hundreds of films clamor for your attention, one man is dedicated to making sense of them. This is Trailer Tracker, coming right now to a computer near you. Anyone who believes crime doesn't pay isn't counting the box office receipts. Movies about criminal hijinks not only make money, they brag about it. Check out a heavily made up John Travolta in the taking of Pelham 123. Now what is the price for New York City hostages this morning? What do you think, a million a piece is too high? A million? Here's Julia Roberts and Clive Owen, one of those two beautiful to be true casting duos, in duplicity. How much do you think you'd need? 20 million? I was thinking 40. So what do you have to do to get $40 million? But the prize goes to State of Play, which stars Ben Affleck, Russell Crowe, and Rachel McAdams. Do you have any idea what you're threatening here? Billions of dollars. That's wrath of God money. Crime has many faces. Duplicity, which opens March 20th, has Owens and Roberts trying to con two corporations run by Tom Wilkinson and Paul Giamatti, neither of whom seems to like the other very much. Duplicity was written by Tony Gilroy, who coincidentally wrote the screenplay for State of Play, opening April 17th. That's what you call damn fine reporting. It's based on a 2003 British miniseries about corporate and government corruption at the highest levels. State of Play features gunplay, car crashes, cops, and helicopters. By coincidence, or is it? You tell me! All these elements also feature in the trailer for The Taking of Pelham 123, which opens June 12th. The Taking of Pelham 123 is about a hostage taking on a New York City subway, and it's based on an earlier movie released in 1974, remade for TV in 1998, and originally based on a 1973 novel by Morton Friedkin. Not only does crime pay in the movies, apparently it keeps paying dividends.